You know, you can never say enough about practice, and it doesn't matter, you know, whether you're you're shooting a rifle, a muzzleloader, shotgun, bow, crossbow, whatever. You need to spend some time getting used to everything about that equipment and how it's going to perform. And, and a couple of things I like to do when it comes to archery is prepare to, you know, what am I going to be expected to do in the field? And I've got a pop-up hunt coming up where I'm going to be in a, in a chair like what I'm sitting here right now. So I want to practice drawing and shooting from this exact position time and time again to get ready for that hunt. You know, so when we get into this type of a hunting situation, for me, I, I know that I've got three different windows. I can shoot left, I can shoot straight, and I can shoot out this one here. So, you know, in my mind, I'm already thinking about the different drawing positions to get into based on the, the hunting situation I'm gonna be in. So, you know, one of them, I'm pretty much, I can't raise my bow high or low, so I need to be prepared to go right out like this and take that shot just exactly like that. Now, I wanna get into the position to understand that I might have to hold this for a long time as I draw, that deer could technically spook, turn, and everything not give me the shot. So, you know, don't be afraid to spend some time at full draw in there and be looking through it and thinking about it and visualize the exact shot, everything that you're looking for, and then make that shot that you're looking for. And if you'll do some of those things when it comes hunting time, you won't panic. You won't, you know, make those rash decisions a lot of times. So put yourself into those types of situations. Another thing that I like to do when I'm getting ready for any type of hunt is think about the clothing that I'm gonna be wearing. Is it gonna be bulky clothes? Is it gonna be cold? Is it gonna be hot? And try to prepare myself for that. One thing I see a lot of people make a mistake on is never practicing with a face mask on. If you're gonna wear a face mask when you're at full draw, make sure you practice with it on because all those anchor points that you're touching are no longer gonna feel the same if you've got a face mask on.